Women who work in STEM are behind some of the world's most impactful scientific breakthroughs, from everyday items that we use like face creams to life-saving inventions like vaccines. But too often, they go unrecognized. Science is at the core of all we do at Olay, and we recognize the importance of gender equality in STEM, especially in our labs. We are excited to honor Mary Golda Ross by commissioning a sculpture in her honor. The statue is meant to inspire future generations to follow her lead and encourage their interest in STEM fields. Empowering today's woman begins with honoring those who've paved the way before us. She focused on designs and calculations for space travel in the 50s and the 60s. Mary Golda Ross was a pioneer in aerospace engineering, creating multiple projects for satellites and space missions to Mars. And she was a pioneer and leader for being one of the first Native American women in aerospace engineering. At Olay, we are committed to help double the number of women in STEM and triple the number of women of color in STEM by 2030. The gender gap of girls in STEM can sometimes feel like too big of a weight to carry. When I'm the only girl in the room, I feel like I'm representing all girls and I can't lose and let them down. One of the biggest stereotypes that I see for women in STEM is that we don't know what we're doing and that we're not qualified to be there. I really noticed the underrepresentation of women as early as even middle school when I started like joining clubs that were technology-based, STEM-based, math-based. Data shows that many girls count themselves out of STEM careers due to a lack of role models. That leads them to believe that jobs in STEM are not for them. We need role models to show girls that they can be scientists, they can code, and they can create an impact on their community. The gender gap has helped me cultivate a strong drive inside me to actually become a person who can make an impact in the society so that I could become a role model and inspirations for young women engineers. A lot of learning how to be a woman in STEM for me has been about learning to stop listening to all of these perceived ideas of what a woman in STEM should be. I hope to be one of those role models for girls who don't know if they fit into the picture of being a scientist or an inventor or an innovator, showing them the way and cheering for them, saying, yes, you can. I really love that Mary Golda Ross helped with the advancements in space travel because that is essentially one of my goals and aspirations as well. Ultimately, I hope we can give women at all stages of the pipeline the opportunity to use her voice to advocate for change and influence the next generation. If you're in a role where you have an opportunity to let a young girl know that she can do anything she sets her mind to, do it. Parents and teachers are obviously at the front lines of this, but we all have a role to play in the way that we speak about women and what we choose to praise them for. We hope that future generations will see themselves in this statue of Mary Golda Ross and know their dreams are possible. <laughs>